In this video, we visit Tablas Creek Vineyard. Tablas Creek is the world's first regenerative organic certified vineyard. And it's fun because they actually have open roaming alpacas and sheep on the property. Yeah, we got to go over it and visit Paco, the alpaca. He sure was cute. I think he had just gotten a haircut, right? <laughs> he looked kind of cool. Yeah. So you're going to enjoy this video. Check it out. Perfect. Winery number two, day three. Day three. <laughs> Liver is barely intact. <laughs> I got the spot. How was that? You're going to find a llama. Where's your mask? Because you don't need it. I don't know if we need it. Okay. Better yet. It's a nice little trip, isn't it? It's a beautiful trip. Yes, it is. Just day three. Oh, he's a baby llama. How do we get to him? I don't know. Down that road over here. Come here. Let's see if we can get to him over here. Unless this says do not enter. Do not venture into the vineyard. It's not the vineyard, it's just the dirt. I think that all is. Damn. I want to go see the llama. So we could come over here, but she said, be careful because there's been a lot of snakes with the heat. So we're oh, he's just hanging out with the people. Keeping our eyes out. We're gonna just being careful. Hi. You're awfully cute. You're a little one. Hi there. <laughs> it's pretty funny looking. Hey there, buddy. Guys. Yeah, pretty. Nice mustache. <laughs> With him? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Bye. All right, looks like they're pouring our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, he's gotta go tell you what it's for. You got, what did you get? I got the white flight. You got the white flight, I got the classic, which is the whites and the reds and the rosés. And they each got a red and a white. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing today? We're doing Wonderful. great. Thank you. So we already had your first flight. Perfect. <laughs> As they said, it was delicious. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I guess I'm like, hey, should I bring out the wines now or should I wait for the first to come back? And they're like, oh, bring them out fast. Yeah, yeah, fast. We got to drink them all and then they're going to come. That's all right. We now have an alpaca friend and you don't. Uh, so, okay. Oh, I saw him. Oh, you met Paco? Yeah. He's so cool. Yeah, Paco. I've never been alpaca. up close What's to him. What's his name? Paco. 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 Yeah, he's really the sweet. Alpaca. Yeah, he's really cool looking. Yeah. I he's, told him, I was like, cool. Oh, he's here. all trimmed down, so he's like. Yeah, this. He's pretty, he got fresh shaved like a week ago. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He's got this cool little mustache going on. And a little poof on top. Big eye, eye, eyelashes. That lashes, yeah. He's pretty adorable. Yeah, he yeah. is. So I'm just going to give a brief little overview of these wines just so we can know what you get yourself into. Um, I'm going to go over the white wine plate first. We're going to give it back to right, top to bottom on the list. Okay. So left, we're going to start with our 100% Viognier. Viognier is a northern varietal known for its stone fruitiness, its floral aspects. I recently paired this with the chicken with the mango sauce and we're absolutely delicious. Ooh, yeah, that would be good. In the middle, you're going to have our Cote de Tabas Blanc. This is our blend remnants of the Cote de Rhone region. It's a Viognier based blend with some Ganache Blanc, Marcon, and Bouton added to it. This is a nice, fun, well rounded blend. And then third, we're gonna have our 100% Marchon. Marchon is a northern room brighter, known for smelling characteristics. It's um, honey aspect to it. And then on the red wine plate, on left, you're gonna start with our 100% Quinoise. Quinoise is a minor blending here from the southern room. It's very light, very bright, very bright, very, uh, a lot of sweet strawberry characteristics. Honestly, with this wine, I'll put it on chill sometimes. And doing it kind of like a rosé in the summer, like as a summer sipper. Yeah. In the middle, you're gonna have our 100% Ganache Noir. Ganache Noir is known for its red fruitiness, its brightness. It pairs beautifully with the spaghetti bolognese. Oh. And third, you're gonna have our Cote de Tablet or Rouge. It's our blender in the Cote de Rome region. It's a Ganache based blend with um, Syrah, Moubet, and Quinoise added into it. Really fun compare and contrast you have right here is the Grenache next to the Cote Velvet, because the Cote Velvet, the same vintage, is 44% Grenache Noir. Okay. So it's almost half the blend, so you might be able to see some similarities, but also some differences. Okay. On the classic play, I'll let you throw the 100% Villiers, which I just gave a brief description mm -hmm. of. Um, bit of a recap. Um, stone fruit, floral aspects, um, nice and creamy texture. In the middle, you're gonna have our three tablets. Long. This is our flagship white wine blend. Anything that says a spree is our flagship. A spree means in the spirit of, so it's in the spirit of the spree. Um, it's a root on based blend with a bunch of other chicken and pop tomato varietals in it. And third, you're gonna have our diaphragm rosé. This wine is a new vegetable blend with Ganache Quinoise. It's made in the strong yay method. This is about 48 to 72 hours of skin contact. And it is, uh, and made in the traditional Rome style. But, but give you all the taste of these and enjoy. Cool. All right, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. We're at Tablas Creek. safe with COVID.
So indoors is completely closed, like all the signs outside of going into the tasting room is closed. So this is it. I like these little the carrier little carriers. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna give a brief little overview again with the lady on. Okay. On the left we're gonna start with our hundred percent Ruson. Ruson is a very um Structured, waxy, glycerol, right? A lot of honey characteristics, yeah. a lot of nuttiness to it as well. Um, if you're into aging wine, this wine ages beautifully. Yesterday, I did a, a vertical tasting between our 2020 vintage all the way every vintage down to our 20, uh, 2001 vintage. Oh my gosh. So it, it, it aged beautifully for 20 years. It was absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. So um, you can have it today or you can have it in 20 years. It's going to be great either way. And then after that, you're going to have a small vertical tasting between our 2018 and our 2017. That's three of the top of lumps. These are flagship white wine blends. They're both Rousson based blends. With a bunch of other shit, you know, stuff up from the bridles in it. It's really fun comparing contrast you have with the two vintages. Vintages are very year similar in percentage wise, but the two vintages, so of course, it's different season. weather, so different, um, different rain, different uh, sun, different microclimate heat. Microclimate heat, exactly. Um, different heat spikes on certain days, different yeah. diurnal shifts, there's so many different yeah. factors. Um, but um, another fun comparing taste you have is both those blends are two thirds Rousson. Okay. And you have the 100% Rousson right next to it, so you can do a little compare and contrast. Mm -hmm. On the oh red God. wine play on the left, we're going to start well. with our we full circle, Joe's. which is what we call our 100% Pinot Noir. The only wine we taste through today that's not a steak room fruit. It's grown in the Templeton Gap District, which is about five miles that way. Uh, they get a little bit of more coastal influence down there. Um, and then after that, you're going to have a small vertical tasting for our 2018 or 2017. That's three of the choppers. Rouges, these are our flagship red wine blends. They're both blue bed driven blends, so if you're not sure on two ones. Um, you'll notice that uh, between the two years, the straw and the grass board is kind of flip flop between them. That's because we're really trying to highlight the move bed. Okay. And um, so, of course, wine is an agricultural product, so each vintage, each varietal is slightly different. So, years where the move bed is a little bit more red, fruity, and bright. We're gonna put more straw in to kind of give a tannin and a backbone, but here's where the tannin and backbone we're gonna put more granache to compensate for that. Yeah, a little more fruit. That's really interesting. Yep, exactly. Okay. And then on your play on the left, we're gonna start with yes. our 100% Pinot right. Noir. I was um, creamy and nutty on this earlier, but um, I'll the... recap. Yeah, yeah. Grenache Noir, very yeah, like red that. fruity, very bright, um, very beautifully spaghetti bowl and needs to along on those lines. I in the middle, you have our cooked chocolate blues, our blender for the cooked rum reason. A ganache for a blend with the rum and salad added into it. Um, fun comparison tasting between the two because the cooked chocolate is 44% deep. You're not sure why. And third, you're going to have our three of chocolate 2017 vintage, our flagship red wine blend. Um, originally, we were only planning on making two wines the three of chocolate um, red and the three of chocolate white. But since, of course, we've um, moved in about 25 wines now. But we'll leave you all to taste through these. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, of course. You have mine? Yes. What are you tasting? I'm tasting a Grenache, 100% wow. Grenache. This one? Where are we? We are at Topless Creek Winery. How many wineries have we been to in three days? We've been to four, eight. This is our ten. Tent. This is our ten. We got five to go. Or six. One more today. One Thank more you. today. <laughs> See, there's only one more today at an open Hold on.